Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a first impressions makeup look. This is the look I create in this video. So if you guys want to see how I created this look and all the new products that I tried, then please keep watching. Okay, so I look a little bit ratchet right now, but um, just bear with me. By the end of this makeup tutorial, I'll look a little bit better. Um, it's currently like 9 o'clock at night, and I decided to film a first impressions makeup tutorial. And if you've been following me in the last few videos that I've posted, you know what's been going on. So I'm just trying to get back into the swing of things, back into normal life and what I used to do, you know? So um, just bear with me, okay? Also, my skin is a little bit broken out, but that's like hormonal, you know? So anyways, uh, let's get started. Okay, so I have already uh, put soap in my eyebrows to like lay them down and then I just cut cut my brows with a little bit of concealer um, and I'm going to use the same concealer this is the Benefit Boying 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 Cakeless Concealer in the shade number two and all of this is new to me guys I did use this just a minute ago to um, cut my brow you know just define my brow a little bit but I'm also going to use it to prime my eyelids because I usually use concealer to prime my eyelids and so far I like this concealer because it's super pigmented on my eyelids anyways but like it's like a thin consistency it doesn't seem too thick or cakey so I like that because I don't really like a thick cakey concealer but it also seems a little on the drier side to be honest but we'll see I feel like using it as a primer doesn't really count as far as testing it out yeah it's like super dry because it like already dried on this eyelid before I can even blend it out so it, like you could see it I don't know if I like that we'll see though we'll see how it wears on the face I'm kind of worried about it like underneath my eyes because I'm getting old and wrinkly But we'll see for now how it works as a eyeshadow primer. Okay, so for my eyeshadow today I'm gonna use this palette from Colourpop. This is the Ooh La La palette. Super pretty. All these pink tones. Love it I've never tried a Colourpop eyeshadow, so I'm super excited about this They just sent this to me and I cannot wait. I'm gonna start with this shade right here This is the shade Poodle and I'm taking this on my Morphe M433 brush. Oh, super pigmented. And I'm just going to start working this into my breeze. This is going to be like my transition shade. I kind of have an idea of what I want to do for this eye look, but also kind of just winging it at the same time. So um, this should be interesting also because it's going to be pink. I'm kind of excited to see how this one turns out. Does that look even? I feel like this side looks a little crazier. This side looks a little patchy, but it looks more pigmented. You guys want to pull back like this you know like pull your mirror back and assess critique examine from afar it's like when you pluck your eyebrows you should always like take a step back because sometimes if you don't you know you just do a little too much okay we're just gonna run with that okay so once I get that first shade called poodle in my crease and kind of like um blown out in like a cat eye type of shape going on here um I'm gonna move on to the next color all right I'm gonna dip back into the palette into this shade right here called trove and I'm taking this on my Sigma E32 brush and I'm just gonna deepen this outer V with this it's like a dark maroony color like a cranberry a little darker than a cranberry I would just call it maroon I'm just gonna deepen the outer V and I'm really gonna try to not take this any further than my crease you know because we want that like gradient effect I'm already messing that up I know that that's good we're getting somewhere by the way these shadows are super pigmented super pigmented pretty easy to blend a little chalky a little bit of fallout a little bit of chalkiness but overall so far I really like them they are a little chalky but they're blending really nicely all right got that outer corner deepened just a little bit super excited about this next thing I'm gonna go in with this this is also from Colourpop and this is their super shock press pigment in the shade slave to pink and I saw someone use this I think it was um what's her name I love Sarai is that who she is I don't know I think she used this in a video once a while ago and ever since then I've wanted it I don't know if I said her name right so I have to look it up yeah I think I said it right anyways she used this in a video once and ever since I saw that video I've wanted this so I finally got my own and I'm gonna use it right now and it's so gorgeous so pink and beautiful oh my god I can't wait to show you so I'm just gonna take my finger as you could tell I already did but I'm just gonna dip into this 
And I'm gonna press it right in the center of my eyelid. Oh my god, so pretty. Can you see how beautiful it is? It's like mermaid. It's like a mermaid pink. It has like um almost like a purpley blue reflect, but it's just like the most gorgeous, hot, metallic pink, and it looks great over top of these eyeshadows. Oh my god, it's so pretty. I just want to put it all over. So yeah, I'm just pressing it on with my finger. So I feel like it is going to apply more pigmented using my finger versus the brush. And I haven't used this before except for when I did the other eye. But I love it. It's so freaking pretty. And it's so pigmented. Look at that. Like against just my bare skin with no other eyeshadows. So pigmented. So I'm just focusing it in the center of my eyelids. And I'm leaving the inner corners bare for now because I'm gonna go in with something else right there this is just gonna be like the center the main focus you know so pretty and in this palette there's a similar shade right here in the middle let's see this one is called opulent 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 or opulent I don't know it's super similar but not the same can you guys see that let's see let's focus okay so this one is the pressed pigment the super shock pressed pigment in the shade slave to pink the one that I put on my eye eyelids and this is the one that comes in the palette super similar but not the same this one is shimmery but it looks way matte compared to this one you feel me so I mean you can use this one and get a similar effect but you're not gonna get the same effect but just letting you know but I just wanted to point that out in case you're wondering why I didn't use that shade in the middle because it looks similar but it is not not the same but you know if you like only had this palette and you didn't have this and you wanted to recreate the look you could use the other one so Look how pigmented this is. I just scrubbed, literally scrubbed my finger, and it's still not so pigmented. Love that. Love that for me. Okay, let's go on. Um, hmm. Okay, I'm going to go back into the palette. I'm going to hit this lighter pink shade right here. A lighter pink shimmery shade. It's called Big Sugar. And I'm taking this on my Luxie 131 brush, and I'm just going to apply this to the inner corner right here. Mm, kind of not that into it. It's okay. I think I'm going to put something over top. That. This ugh, pink though is just so pretty. So yeah, I'm just gonna apply this lighter pink shade into the inner corner. It has like a gold shift to it slightly. Really soft gold shift in my opinion, which almost kind of makes it look a little corally. I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush, which is naked. There's nothing on it. And I'm just gonna like blow out the edges right here. I don't have any harsh edges. And I'm gonna go back into the palette and I'm gonna hit this shimmery shade right here. This is called Tickle. I wipe this brush off. I'm gonna dip in. This is like a foiled. Ooh, it's chunky. Um, this is kind of like a foiled shadow. And I'm gonna place this one in the inner corner over top that lighter pink. And honestly, oh, it's so cute. I feel like it would go on better if I use my finger. Let's just try. I don't think my finger is gonna fit right there because I have these big old acrylics on. So I'm just gonna try. Oh yeah, this is really hard, but I'm kind of doing it. I'm just pressing this chunky. Oh my god, no, can't. Mm -mm. See my finger? Mm -mm. My finger doesn't doesn't fit so it kind of made it a mess. Okay, I like how putting that lighter glitter over top that made it a little lighter. Cute. Okay. And it kind of blends into this um, bright pink in the middle, but I'm going to go back in. Ooh. That's actually really pretty. Kind of using this as like an inner inner corner highlight as well. And it's actually, it's it's all right with the brush. Where's my little naked, naked brush? I'm going to use this again to just actually, I'm going to use this brush, the one that I used to apply the transition shade and blend this out a little bit. Okay, not bad. This is so chunky, it's like falling apart. This, this one. I actually love this as an inner corner highlight, not going to lie. I'm going to go back in with this pink because I'm obsessed and I'm just going to reapply a little bit to the center just to kind of um reinforce reinforce that pop of color oh my god it's so pretty there's a piece of fuzz stuck to my nail but who cares right oh so pretty i love this for me okay that should be that's fine i did not think that this look was gonna get this crazy but we're here now so let's just let's finish it out okay so i'm gonna apply some lashes but before that i'm gonna curl my lashes really quick this is not a new lash curler sorry but i don't have a new lash curler to try this is however a new mascara from Rock Me Up Makeup. My homegirl, check her out. I will link her down below. Haven't tried this before, just took it out of the box. 
I don't know why, but I love to smell mascaras, and I love the smell of mascaras, and look at this wand. Love a wand like this, so pretty sure I'm going to love this mascara. I like to apply a thin coat of mascara before putting on my false lashes because I feel like it helps my lashes just adhere and blend a little bit better to my natural lashes. So that's why I'm doing this. And yeah, I totally love this mascara. It's just going on so smoothly, and it's not like chunky or dry or anything. And the brush is like separating all my lashes perfectly oh might be a new favorite Ooh. I'll have to try this one day when I don't wear false lashes too so I can more than one layer um okay and then for lashes I'm gonna be using these these are also from rock me up cosmetics rock me up makeup these are the cruelty free 3d mink lashes and I don't know how to pronounce this sorry sorry Sarah Sarah, Sari, Sari, I don't know, but they look like this, and these are the ones I'm using, so super pretty, super wispy. I'm gonna apply these off camera, and I will be right back. I'm so pasty white, I need a tan. I'm like translucent, I'm like a ghost. Okay, so let's move on. Um, Before I do my face, I'm gonna do my eyebrows really quick, and where is that? Okay, so today we're gonna try the Top Shop Brow Pencil in the shade this. <laughs> There's not like a name or a number. So there's a spoolie on one end. I didn't know that. And then, sorry, I'm trying to see if there's a name for the color imprint. I don't know if that's just the name of the brow pencil or, you know, like Anastasia Brow Wiz or whatever. Or if imprint is the name of the color. But I'm using this color. And it's just like a regular eyebrow pencil. And like I said, I've already laid my eyebrow hairs down with a little bit of soap, which is now dry. Oh, this eyebrow pencil is pretty soft. I'm just gonna flick this through my brow just to kind of um, fill in all the sparse areas. I was expecting this brow pencil to be hard and like not very pigmented because I feel like my experience with brow pencils is that like you have to press really hard and they don't work that great but this one went on really nicely. It's not really the right color for me. It's a little too warm. I feel like my eyebrow hairs are actually on the fairly dark side and I feel like they're very cool tone but it'll work. We'll we'll make it work. Just filling in all the sparse areas. Actually makes them look a lot softer than what I normally do, which I like a lot. But you could see how warm this pencil is compared to my actual brow hairs. So that's my only complaint. But as far as like the pencil itself and the consistency, it's actually really nice. Just wish it was more my color. Almost applying kind of like a powder, to be completely honest. Let's try it on my hand. Oh, see, as soon as I start doing it on my hand, now it's like barely anything is happening why that's really weird see now i'm having to like press hard can you hear that i'm literally like scraping it on my skin like nothing's happening so mm, kind of was excited for this now not so much i'm gonna use a spoolie side it's a pretty big spoolie by the way which is actually nice i don't mind that and i'm just gonna soften the front part here because it was a little too concentrated right in the front but everything else looks nice i mean the brow looks nice here's um penciled in brow non-penciled in brow can you see the difference this one just looks a little bit fuller so so not super impressed with the brow pencil. I was at first, but then it like stopped working or it was like really hard to use, like a typical dry brow pencil. I don't know why brow pencils suck so much, but I like the twist up kind, you know? This one was okay at first and I this side it, I had to press a little harder. This brow feels a little raw. <laughs> so um, mm, it's all right. Wouldn't buy it, honestly, wouldn't buy it. Don't really recommend. All right, let's move on to the face. Um, for primer, I've had this for a while, but I don't think I've used it yet. My dog chewed it, my puppy, um, but it's brand new. This is the Hello Fab Pores Be Gone Matte Primer from First Aid Beauty. By the way, we will finish the under eye portion after I do my face. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this primer on my fingers. Oh, she's thick. Oh, she smells so good. I'm just, hopefully that pink pig doesn't come off onto my face. Okay, I'm just placing this into my T-zone area and on my chin. It's really thick, you guys. I wonder if it's supposed to be this thick. It feels kind of like um, a thick lotion. Oh my god, it smells so good, though. Like, fruity. It smells so good. I love that. So it feels kind of like a thick lotion, but at the same time, kind of has that, like, um, silicone-y feel. You know, kind of like a uh, professional, but more it's like if you mixed professional with the thick lotion. Does that make sense? So I'm just taking this all over my face, trying to avoid my eyes and my brows, obviously. 
obviously. My skin feels so nice though, even with the pimples, because this primer feels really nice. All right, let's move on to foundation. Um, we're trying a new foundation today, and I'm nervous because I don't like to switch up my foundations. You know, I'm the type of person that once I find a great foundation, I just stick with it. Because I feel like foundations are kind of, you know, a little trickier. But anyways, um, it's going to be between these. This is the ColourPop um, No Filter Foundation. This is in the shade, what shade is this? Oh, this is in the shade Medium 90, and I think I bought this to match me when I have a tan. Obviously, me and this foundation are two different colors. So I think this one's going to be too dark. And the other one is, this is the Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation Up to 24 Hour Wear from Urban Decay. And it looks a little bit lighter. This is in the shade 20NN. Um, I think it might be this one. Let's see. Um, oh, also I'm going to be trying out this little spongy guy. Uh, I know that like everyone but me has tried these before. This is the microfiber, I'm reading the package, the microfiber velvet sponge from June and Co. And I have had this for a while and just haven't tried it yet, but I'm going to try it right now. And it is damp, just like you would dampen a beauty blender. So I'm just going to squirt a little bit of this foundation onto the sponge. We're going to do two pumps because we're just going to go for it. And this is so white, like so light compared to what I normally oh my god would apply but I have no hand on right now so it's probably gonna be what's best I think it's a little I don't know no. <laughs> it's so white you guys oh my god I think this is actually too light for me oh my goodness okay well we're just gonna make it work watch you'll see it'll look good I can make anything work definitely drag it down the neck oh my gosh it's so light I have no actually I don't know because in the monitor it looks like I have white face paint on but in the mirror it actually looks like perfect and by the way okay I need to look up close this sponge I think anyways I'm not looking up close yet I'm looking like my mirror is like two feet away but it feels like this sponge is blending amazingly but let's look up close oh no it really is it looks so good seriously wow love the sponge actually this foundation looks like not too bad I'm just really pale naturally like this is me with no spray tan um I mentioned earlier in the video that it is like late at night well now it is 9:46, and after I finish this tutorial, I'm gonna take my makeup off and I am going to fake tan and go to sleep. Okay, so in the monitor, this foundation looks way too light for me, but when I look in the mirror, it looks perfect. Like I have foundation on, like from my eyes down, and I don't have any foundation on my forehead, but it looks the same color pretty much, except for up here looks a little bit pinker. Okay, so maybe this is like the right color for me when I don't have a tan. I don't know. Maybe I just don't want to admit that I'm this pale. I am like always tanned, like fake tanned. But then when I put it against my skin, it looks way too light. Okay, we're just gonna have to put on a lot of bronzer. Really loving this sponge though. Like, okay, because lately I've only been using a brush, a, like a big fluffy powder brush to blend out my foundation because I just love the way it looks and works. And I'm also too lazy to get my sponge wet all the time. But I feel like this is like applying like, like a sponge and a brush. Like, oh, it's so good. I love it. I really love it. I might use this. This might be like my daily driver. Oh my gosh. I'm not used to being this hasty. I don't like it. I like to be tan, guys. Oh, I look like those, you know, like in the old Victorian eras where they put like white powder all over their face. <gasps> That's what I look like. Okay, we're just gonna, we're just gonna make it work. Honestly, though, like the consistency of this foundation is so nice. It's not heavy or cakey, but as you can see, it's like pretty full coverage. Not full coverage, but like, like it just like, my skin looks perfect. Like you can't even really see that pimple. You can see that one though, but that one's kind of gone. I don't know, my skin just looks really nice. It looks pale, but it looks nice. So, uh, and I do have this foundation in darker shades. I just don't, like, I don't think these will look good. These will be too dark, I think. Because this is um, 20 NN, and these are 50 and 51 NN. <laughs> so there's, like, a big, maybe, I probably need, like, 30 right now. That would probably be a little bit better, but oh well. We're just going to work with what we got, okay? So, oh, my concealer. I'm kind of worried about applying this concealer. I'm just going to do it anyways. I'm going to apply. All right, because I wanted to see how this concealer wears under 
underneath the eyes. And because I already know that it's gonna dry quick, I'm gonna only apply it in one area and blend. Usually I would apply in all the areas that it's gonna go first, and then I would blend them out, but it's gonna like stain, so I'm just gonna blend as I go. I applied way too much right now. Wow, definitely super full coverage, look at that. And I think it's a little darker than my <laughs> foundation. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm worried about this. It's a little darker than my foundation and definitely more full coverage than the foundation, not gonna lie. Um, but makes me look even more flawless, like almost plaster. <laughs> um, it's supposed to be cakeless and I am old so I have like some wrinkles under my eyes but it's not like creasing too much but we'll see. I'm gonna apply less over here, like only that much because I applied way too much on that side. That was my fault. And sometimes it doesn't matter if it's a cakeless. Oh, even I applied way less and it's still okay you guys a little bit goes a long way okay because I applied way less on this side and it's still too much so even a cakeless concealer can look cakey if you apply too much so if this ends up looking cakey it's probably my fault because I applied like way more than I needed but it definitely looks better on this side because I didn't apply that much oh my god I just can't get over how freaking pale I look right now it's embarrassing I like almost blend in with my background okay um I'm just gonna apply a little concealer on my pimples and this one. They're only like that because I mess with them. Don't mess with your pimples. Better? Better. Okay. I'm gonna set my under eyes because I like to do that. And we're gonna try a different setting powder. We're gonna try the Ultimate Brush Off Set and Go One and Done from Urban Decay. And this is in the shade Fair. And I don't think that's right because that is like just loose powder. Okay, this is Fair. There's a translucent one too. Oh, okay, so, oh, but I need to take this little, oh no, I need tweezers. I have to take the little thing off. Told you this is first impressions, you guys. Oh, got it. It broke, but got it. Having nails, I love having nails, but it's so hard to do anything. Okay, so this kind of just twists off, and then it comes off, and there's a little brush, and it just dips right into the powder. Makes things easier. It's like a deep, kind of like bowl, too, so that's nice, because you can tap off the excess. Well, there's a lot. Oh my god, it's still going. Oh my gosh, there's so much powder on here. There's like so much. Okay, I don't really like the size of this brush. I mean, for like all over face application, that's great. But for under eye, mm-mm. So I'm gonna take my little setting brush from Real Techniques and dip in because I feel like that's the only way I'm gonna get the like full effect of this powder and really know if I like it. So I'm really picky about my setting powders too. The only one I use is the Maybelline Loose, Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder. Okay, this one seems pretty nice though. Definitely seems way more powdery than the Maybelline. Oh my god, I'm so, I'm so white, I'm like glowing. This is awful, you guys. This is so awful. I like the foundation too. It's, it has nothing to do with the foundation. It has everything to do with it being the wrong color. Okay, so I'm just setting my under eyes with this powder. It's all right. Honestly, right off the bat, I still like my Maybelline better than the Urban Decay one, but it's not awful. It's just like all right. Okay. <laughs> You better stick around to see how this turns out in the end because I promise you it's going to look better. Okay, we're going to get into the bronzer. And for bronzer, I'm going to use this one. This is the Gingerbread Tan Spicy Bronzer from Too Faced. It looks like this. It's so cute. It's limited edition, obviously, for the holidays. And it smells so good. I don't know if it's supposed to smell like gingerbread, but it kind of smells a little bit more like cinnamon. But it still smells good. And I'm going to take my Too Faced powder brush and dip into this bronzer. Let me take the little thing off. Please help me gingerbread man. All right, I'm just gonna start warming up my face starting at my cheekbone area because I want to kind of carve out my cheekbone a little bit. This is um, slightly shimmery by the way, but it's not too dark so it actually is working for me. Oh my gosh, already, already look better. So I kind of just focused, concentrated most of the product that was on my brush in this area right here to contour my cheekbone a little bit and then whatever product is left on the brush I'm just gonna take and lightly dust my face because of how pale I'm looking and hopefully it gives me just a little bit of color you know it actually looks super nice and soft though and like just the right amount of glowy pretty warm toned I would say that this uh, bronzer is definitely warm toned which I prefer a more cool toned bronzer but it's all right right now I will take any bronzer any bronzer that I can. I'm gonna warm up around my face this is gonna help 
tremendously. Oh my god, doesn't that look better already? At this point, any amount of bronzer, even some dirt would help me because I am so pale. Wow, that just looks so much better. All right, a little better, a little bit better. Bronzer, um, I don't not like it, but I don't really like how warm it is. But maybe it's just because it's against this super, super light foundation. Maybe if it was against like my normal, my usual foundation, I would like it. But um, for right now, it's perfect. It's great. And it helps me so much. I needed that. Okay, so let's move on to highlight. For highlighter, I'm going to use this palette, this highlighting palette from Revolution. Looks like this. Has four different highlighting shades. And I think I'm going to use the lightest one because I feel like right now it's the only one that's going to look okay. Okay, so I'm going to dip into this one right here. There's no name. It's just the like icy, icy white one. Ooh super pigmented. And I'm using my Anastasia A23 highlighting brush. Very old. And I'm just gonna dust the top of my cheekbones with this. Super pretty. I like how it's like not chunky. I don't like chunky highlighters. It's like a soft shimmery one. So I really like that. It's super pretty. And never used Makeup Revolution before. But so far I really like the highlighter. I'm just gonna highlight the usual the usual areas. Oh yeah that's super pretty. I actually really like this highlighter because it's super soft and I highlight my chin too and the tip of my nose and down the bridge of my nose actually really really like this highlighter I applied a little bit less on this side and it looks a little bit better it's like super super pigmented I really like it I love how it's just a nice shimmer and it's not a chunky thick highlighter you know I like when it almost looks like your natural glow like oily glow but it's like not you know oh my god just do you see how much that bronzer and the highlighter saved me already. It's like night and day. If you don't use bronzer or highlighter and you just use foundation, you need. Learn from me. Learn from me. And the mistake I just made with that really light foundation, use bronzer and highlighter. Okay, we're gonna try a new blush. And it's also from Topshop, okay? I didn't like the Topshop eyebrow pencil, but hopefully I'll like the blush. We're gonna give them another try. So this is the matte powder blush in the shade Game Changer from Topshop. And ooh, it's really pretty. So this is the packaging. Super nice. I love a plain packaging. And it's just this really nice matte, like, mauve shade. I'm into it. Let's see how it looks. It seems a little bit dark. Um, and I only say that because of how light my foundation is right now, so. Ooh, it's really pretty. It's super pigmented. I actually really like this. It reminds me of my Tarte um, Amazonian Clay blush in Exposed. I think it's Exposed. I don't know off the top of my head. I think it's Exposed, but it reminds me exactly of that blush color. Blush is important, you guys. Like, it helps you look alive and flushed. And in my case, it's helping me not look so pale and pasty. I love blush. Oh, and I'm using my... My Real Techniques tapered blush brush to apply this blush. Super pretty, a little bit too concentrated, so I'm gonna just kind of buff it out a little bit with a large powder brush. Now, this is the brush that I use to apply the bronzer, so probably shouldn't be using this one, but I think it's fine. Oh, I really like that blush a lot. All right, the Topshop blush is a winner in my book. Is this magnetic? I think this case is magnetic. Yeah, I like that. Okay, we're almost done. Oh, I need to do underneath my eyes what to do. I think I'm just gonna take that same um, this shade right here that I used for my transition the first the very first shade I used called poodle I think I'm just gonna use that underneath my eyes and I'm gonna use my morphe m433 brush again and I'm just going to lightly sweep this underneath my lash line I'm going to connect it right here to the outer V of my eye. And since this look is so crazy, I'm not going to get too, like, heavy on the smokes down here. I'm not going to smoke out the lower lash line too, too much. Because it's already a pretty intense look. But that's just going to, like, bring it all together. really like these eyeshadows. Also, really like this eyeshadow palette. Even though it's, like, just a bunch of pinks. Like, I really like it. I'm so over, like, neutral palettes. Oh my god. How many neutral palettes can we have, you know? All right. Do a little mascara on the lower lash line I'm using the same mascara that I used earlier I don't know why but I haven't been liking mascara on my lower lashes I grow I go through like stages where I like it sometimes and then sometimes I just don't for some reason but it's already on so we're just gonna run it this mascara is really good though like look at that that was just one quick little coat and they look long and thick and black love it all right all that 
that's left is lips. Before I apply the new lipstick that I'll be trying, I am gonna apply my handy dandy um, lip liner because I like to overline my lips. So I'm gonna overline my lips with my NYX lip pencil in the shade Natural, which is not a first impressions thing. Like, I use this every day. But I can't not, like, look at, I just barely overline my cupid's bow and it already, like, brought my lip up. It made such a huge difference. I like to draw on bigger lips, so I'm just gonna do that really quick. And I didn't have any other lip liners to, like, test out, you know? There was no lip liners in my box of new makeup that I could use for this first impressions video, so I'm just gonna use this one. Wow, see what I mean? It's like all of a sudden she has lips. Wow, would you look at that? My nose itches. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna be trying this lippy sticks from ColourPop. This is in the shade Aquarius and I'm gonna be trying it out. It's very pretty. Looks like a color I would love. You know that like perfect mauve nude? Almost the same color as my lip liner. Just a little bit browner it seems. Let's see. Oh my god it's going on like butter. So so creamy. The perfect look at So this side is just my lip liner pencil. This side has lipstick on. My lip liner pencil you can see it's just a little bit more peachy. This is like a little bit grayer. Like this color way more. I wish I could find a lip liner in the same color because it's perfect. But they're honestly so close in color. And this is so, so creamy and so pigmented. Wow. I love this. I'm tapping it out with my finger. So creamy. That is so pretty. I think this is like my new, new favorite nude. So pretty, so pretty. And even though I mentioned taking my makeup off as soon as I'm done filming this, which I'm still gonna do because it is now 10:17. I'm still gonna try out a new setting spray. This is the Makeup Revolution Hyaluronic Fix Hydrating and Plumping Makeup Fixing Spray. I'm gonna test it out, why not? Doesn't really have a smell. The sprayer works nicely for like a pump one, you know. Um, I feel like I'm really not gonna get the full effect because I'm gonna take this off right now. So it kind of sucks, but I'll have to try it again on a day that I actually wear my makeup look. But um, yeah, I figured I would try it anyway. So that completes this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I actually, despite the little bumps in the road, I actually really, 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 really like this makeup look. Um, my face is so freaking pale that it's making my teeth look yellow. If I didn't point that out right now, you probably would have never noticed, but usually my teeth look super white and I think my face is whiter than my teeth right now. That's a problem. Anyways, regardless of said bumps in the road, I still really super love this eye look. Like, like so gorgeous so excited about that palette and this was fun to do so if you guys like this video please let me know by giving it a big thumbs up come say something in the comment section I love to hear from you guys um, thank you all for your support especially over the last few weeks um, if you know you know what I've been going through um, I feel not better I just feel I guess I'm learning to sit with it better mentally so um, I'm starting to feel normal again so anyways just thanks to all of you who have been there for me over the last few weeks and the whole time that I've been on YouTube in general whether you've been following me from the beginning or you just started following me today like seriously thank you for watching for supporting me and I totally appreciate you guys seriously so come say what's up to me in the comment section because I love to hear from you guys please consider subscribing we're almost at 10,000 like I think <sighs> what today is monday december 2nd i am at if my phone doesn't die i'm at 7938 subscribers so thinking we're gonna hit 8000 in the next couple days which is super exciting so please consider subscribing thank you for all your support and i will see you guys in the next video bye